Using your phone as a webcam, mobile camera, portable camera, or mobile vlogging or streaming camera can expose an interesting weakness, the microphone. I'm gonna show you how to fix that. Whether you use one of these to get better microphone audio into OBS from your phone as a camera setup for vlogging, streaming, or recording anything, it seems like Boya has a solid set of products on their hands. In recent years, people have been discovering the utility of using their smartphone as a webcam. Since phone cameras have been getting so good, they have quickly become quite the viable option for streamers and content creators. Boya sent over a few of these nifty wireless microphones. This one is called the BYV2 for iPhones, and this one is the BYV10 for USB-C phones. And they also sent over this microphone you're hearing me from right now, which is called the BYM1V2, which is kind of like the Rode Wireless Go. It's meant for use through the three and a half millimeter ports like on mirrorless or DSLR cameras, camcorders, phones, or computer mic jacks. Don't worry if the names are confusing, I'll have everything linked in the description below. I also want to point out what another cool feature of these is you can actually run your own lavalier microphone into the microphone import on the transmitters. So I've written here now, it says uh, outside now, microphone on phone camera now. So now we switch to a phone. So we have the receiver here on the left, type C for Android phones and the transmitter right here, nifty little clip on. And this is the iPhone version with the lightning port on it. This is the transmitter on the right, also has pass through for charging or uh, plugging in headphones. And then it's the dual transmitter version. So you have both the transmitters, both of their clip-ons, everything right there. All right, I'm recording. Walking around outside now, like in a more typical vlogging or IRL streaming setup, does bring an advantage of having little to no echo due to no walls or hard surfaces for sounds to reflect off of. But the best part of a microphone setup like this is being able to walk away from the camera but still be easily heard without having to yell. This is just us recording to, to the camera from like, I don't know, about 30 feet away right now. And uh, you can tell the difference that the microphone wirelessly can make when you're that far away from the camera. Just a quick test of range. This is about, I don't know, 50 feet, 60 feet. Should probably still be easily heard, but well, the closer I get, it's not gonna make a difference because the wirelessness but you might be able to hear it in the camera. A growing amount of people are now also using their phones as podcast type of cameras for interviews, run and gun, whatever. And an on-camera microphone can't exactly do the best job at that. So the two transmitter version on an iPhone like this can really come in handy and really up the quality of the sound. How does it sound to you, Brandon? I think it sounds wonderful. Uh, and just to show you, we're actually outside recording this on his phone. <laughs> oh, okay, so let's get some distance from the phone that is that is recording directly from a wireless transmitter to the phone right now and now if we go ahead and unplug the microphone this is going to be the sound of distance to the camera like like the on camera or the on phone microphone this is how bad it sounds the wireless microphone really does make a difference so a big worry when it comes to wireless microphones is range and possible interference though so we're outside i'm going to go the 50 60 feet inside the shed that's back here and see if the walls from the door in the shed have any effect on the range of this sound. Let's do it. I'm walking back here now. Let's go ahead and open the door. And then we're gonna shut the door and see if that affects anything. Now I can still see him through the door. So let's go further in, put some more stuff between me and him. And uh, well, this is me all the way in the room, away from the camera. How's it sounding? Hopefully that sounded pretty good to you guys. I need to ask you something. Are you subscribed to our YouTube channel? Because if you're not, hit that subscribe button and also follow over on Twitch. Links are right over here. All right, I'm out of here. <laughs> I don't like it over there. If you want to change up your content though, a lot of people like to do cooking streams. A long time ago myself, I actually did a cooking stream outside on my grill set up just like this. Delicious utility device for that. But as you can tell from that clip, having to be louder to be more audible because of the distance you are from the microphone source on the uh, the phone, essentially, um, is a bit of a problem. And a while back, my brother Zoman encountered this exact issue when he was trying to do a cooking stream himself. His voice was getting drowned out, not just by the food cooking, but by other people in the scene as well. Can you hear me right now? Nice and clear. You want me to make a drink? In both of the situations, a phone was being used as the camera and we were relying on the microphone built into the phone itself. So it becomes clear that a wireless solution like these Boya microphones is really great for a setup like this. 
And just as another example of how the onboard microphone sounds from this distance, here it is. Now I just wanted to add some final thoughts on a comparison of what I think after listening back to all of these wireless microphones. The on-camera specific microphone, the BYM1, this is the V2 since it has two transmitters, does sound quite a bit better than the phone specific wireless microphones like this one. The cell phone ones end up sounding a little bit more compressed and a little bit more muddy. The real advantage when using those is that you can sound still clear and loud when you're further away from your phone, further away from where you actually need to record from. When you're at arm's distance, for example, arm's length with your cell phone, it's probably not gonna sound that much different or that much better between the wireless mic or the phone itself. But if you have to put your phone on a tripod and walk away from it, the wireless microphones are going to have the advantage. So when comparing and listening to it, the on-camera microphones do sound like they have more range and more depth and clarity. So if you're able to shoot your content with a mirrorless or DSLR camera, then these ones absolutely have an advantage over the phone ones. But again, if you're in a situation where you're gonna be at distance from your cell phone, then the wireless microphones for the phones is definitely the way to go. The USB-C wireless mic with only one transmitter is 30 bucks on Amazon right now and also available in Lightning for iPhone. The two transmitter Lightning wireless mic is 40 to 50 bucks depending on the listing and the on-camera two transmitter package is $100. The biggest downside to the on-camera M1 V2 is it doesn't have recording to any onboard memory like a Rode Wireless Go. So if you go out of range of the receiver and the mic cuts out, your audio is lost. These wireless mic setups all have around 50 meters of range though, so stay within that range and you should be good. Anyways, if you like this video, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and that bell so you don't miss a single upload. Also, I stream to Twitch every Friday at 8 p.m. Pacific, so if you wanna talk more camera gear, PC tech, and stream tech, then make sure to swing by, drop a follow, and ask any questions. Anyways, my name is Chris, and I've been your stream technician. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Where am I going?